it's morphin time. You guys check this out. Check it. Before, yeah, but before I wreck it. Show on. My heartbeat's almost at a hundred. You can tell how nervous I am talking. Pull my sleeve back. This one's mine. What's your heartbeat at? Ninety-four. Mine's at ninety-seven. Dude, look how many energies I've done. Twenty-three. Mine's only six. What? That's crazy. It's probably from picking up this hoss. Burned seventeen hundred calories. Too bad of. Already, I've already <laughs> ate 2,000. All right, guys, this is my 2013 KX450F project bike. All right, so I'm gonna wash this, and then we are going to work on it and do some different stuff to it. But we're not gonna actually do the engine work today. I'm just gonna kind of mock up everything, and then hopefully we'll see what all we have to do. So if you guys stick around, maybe you guys can do this conversion on your bike too. As you guys can tell, I already got some Michael bars because, oh, hold on, let me. I already filmed this video once, but all the footage was messed up, so I had to take the bike all back apart, and I just left the bars on there because I didn't feel like taking them off. These are the Mica 1 and 1 8 uh, MC Ben, so they're like the Renthal 999s, so they're pretty low. I ordered I ordered the um, Stuart Villapoto Ben, but these came, and I'm not one to really be like, oh, I'm going to send these back. I'll try them, so... Oh well, all right, let's wash it, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll start tinkering. Is that a scrub daddy? No, it's a scotch bright pad. This isn't actually, if you guys, like if somebody, nobody would have noticed, <laughs> but it's not carpet cleaner, it's <laughs> actually purple powder power <laughs> oh dude dude that, that carpet out. cleaner is doing a great job <laughs> this fucking carpet magic power this stuff looks awesome this is just a uh scotch bright pad heavy duty industrial industrial let's see the boot marks and stuff just take you some purple power scotch bright pad spray it <clears throat> and boom, just like that, your frame's totally ruined and you gotta buy a new one. <laughs> Look at that. I only did that for like, how long did I do that for? Like 30 seconds, 20 seconds? Yeah. For the cow. Okay, we're showing you guys new parts for the Cowie. The Cycra Power Flow, Flow Green Fender. It's got this cool stuff on the back. Don't really know if it actually does anything. 90% chance, 99% chance it doesn't. But I wanted the Flow Green Fender, something different. As you guys know, we're doing the 16 to 18 plastic conversion. We needed this the 16 to 18 subframe and air box. We got that. This is just sitting here because it got the good uh, right case that I need. And then there's a crank that I need. Um, I picked up one of these composite arc levers, breakaway composite. Just thought it was one set, but it came as um, two sets of OEM <laughs> head bolts because I know head bolts stretch over a while and they were dirt cheap so I just got them off eBay. Newer model seat and it came with a cover so that's cool. Um, here is a used as you can tell 4.1 titanium blue carbon tip uh, 4.1 for the 16 to 18 so it'll fit this subframe and I got it for 175 shipped to me. Flow green newer style number plate cylinder piston OEM uh, time and chain gasket set this oh no that has the good left case this is the good right case um, <coughs> moose racing just seals for so oil doesn't seep out of it I needed these for the cam caps OEM main bearings 
Uh, newer style header for the 16 to 18. The uh, cylinder head was good, so uh, there's the fuel pump. I still am waiting on my gas tank. I'm getting a black IMS gas tank from Jody, and then the rest of the plastic is black, as you can see. So there's all the parts. Well, most of them. Um, here's the engine. If you guys didn't watch the first video, uh, I suggest go back and do that. But uh, it had a hot rods crank in it, and the rod snapped and wiped out the cases. But trans is still good, and the trans was still good, but the cases were not. So, and the head was still good, and but the cylinder wasn't either. Putting on the newer style front fender just bolts right on. Um, this is this is the 16 to 18 450 style Sacro fender and it just bolts right on. What's that big balloon thing? What this? Yeah. This is an air box. The subframe bolts right on. Does everything just bolt on? No. I think I'm gonna have to. Earlier this was drooping down, so it wasn't lined up with the intake, but. Now that I just realized that it was loose, this air boot, um, it actually might line up. Like I already said, I already did this once, but it was way more boring. Because uh, I wasn't out here. Way more boring than what this is. Because right I wasn't now. out here? Yeah! You're going to cut this out so you know why you're doing that. All right, let's check my heart rate. I held my breath that whole time. Can you even see it? 120, Bob. No. That's what it says. No, my heart rate's 98, dude. Mm. Oh, I was looking at the one below it. Whoa, I've walked a mile and a quarter. Calories, 2200. It's only four o'clock. I'm literally. So skinny. Burning off your Mexican from this morning. <laughs> I did fall off the workout and diet train for about two, three months. Four weeks. No. <laughs> About three months, for real. Gained a bunch of it back, but I quit losing it. Maybe I'm a little bit chunkier, but I'm still not near as- Whoever says that's gonna get beat up. I'm still not near as fat as I was, so. But Thanksgiving, giving all that turkey into my <laughs> gut is over. <laughs> uh, I can hop back on that train, get on it, and start pumping irons. Actually, I'll just take a bunch of steroids and lose a bunch of weight. Me too. You know what happens to girls that take steroids? They grow mustaches? They grow more than mustaches. Penises? <laughs> oh, the shrouds being on there, look at this. This right here is different on the 12 to 15 frames than the 16 to 18. It's in a different location. I can't remember if it's lower or if it's higher or if it's over to the side. But either way, I'm gonna have to make a bracket right here for the shroud bolt. And the radiators down here are different, so I might have to make something there. I'm gonna throw in the junk bottom end and mount up the pipe so we can see. I have no idea, I have not done this before. I definitely am not refil refilming everything, so I don't know if the pipe will fit yet. So let's try it. I just threw out my back. I'm dead serious. Looks like you just pooped in the floor. <laughs> no, I'm stuck like this. I'm serious. <laughs> I can't breathe in. Get up. I'm dead ass serious. I just threw out my fucking back. I I'm can't calling 911. <laughs> How many of y'all have played Red Dead Redemption 2 yet? This shit, it's probably the best game I've played in years. If you guys don't have it and you're thinking about getting it, just go ahead and get it. And I'm getting a pink controller. This is the 16 to 18 header and it's got, I can't remember what these are called, if it's called a resonator or whatever, I don't know. But all it does is, uh, 
it lowers the DB like the Mega Bomb or Power Bomb for FMF and just in a stock form. And it bolts right onto this. So you could probably use the the uh, 12 or actually I'm pretty sure the 2009 the 2009 to 15 exhaust systems all the same. Uh, but you could use the 12 to 15 header and it would actually be louder, which I might go back to the 12 to 15 stock header because it doesn't have this. And I want it to be as loud as possible. Why? Because 450s sound good. <laughs> hey, bug. Get it off me. Get it off me. Seriously. He did. Yeah. My suspicion, as I was doing earlier. My I, suspect. My suspect that I did earlier. <laughs> the, uh, I lifted the airbox up where it should be, and it lines right up with the intake boot, so we should be good to go. All this is kind of trial and error. I did as much research as I could looking at eBay parts and kind of guessing the lengths and sizes of and the differences. It really sucks that I didn't order my gas tank sooner, so it could be here already, <clears throat> but... It ain't ready to Merry ride. Merry Christmas. Yet. What? You're getting me that? Yeah. Those in there. And I'm just gonna hand tighten it on there. Last video I zip tied the fender on there, so this is an upgrade. It's going to bolt onto the subframe that it was made for, so there's no big deal there. Alright, so what are you guys thinking of it so far? I think this is gonna turn out kick ass whenever it's done. It's gonna have a black oversized IMS uh, gas tank, but the tanks on these don't really sit up that high and it's gonna be black so it's gonna blend in and it's gonna look a lot better. And it's gonna have uh, a, uh, it's gonna have a dry brake so it'll be flat up top. I gotta get a new throttle assembly because this one was broke to hell. Like the tube was completely smashed. Cables were shit, so I might as well just get a new one. I'm gonna be using a hydraulic clutch with a flywheel weight on this. I decided I'm not gonna use a recluse or anything. I'm just gonna do hydraulic clutch and a flywheel weight and just, that'll be more than enough to tame it for the woods. The shroud doesn't bolt in from the outside like it does on the other one. I mean, on the uh, 12 to 15, as you can see, it's got a different mount. Like it doesn't do it from the outside, but I don't think this will really be a problem. Um, but, ow, fuck. I knew you were gonna do that. This is how it's gonna kinda sit. And like I said, here is where it would normally bolt and it's gonna be up here. But all I'm gonna do is just take a flat piece of aluminum bolt it down right here and then just make the bracket up there and that's an easy uh, fix. 16 to 18 IMS oversized gas tank so it'll just bolt in no problem there. Here it is. It all just bolts on so far. Um, next part of the video will be working on the engine and putting it together um, for this series. But yeah for you guys that don't pay attention at all because I dedicated a whole like two or three minutes to explaining that I don't have my quad anymore. It's gone. There's the last little bit of it that I have. I explained it like a few videos ago when... Like uh, two? No, I explained it like six or seven videos ago. Really? Yeah, when the title... I think the title of it was uh, his bike locks up on the last lap or whatever when Jake's pushing his husky out of the woods. Not like six videos ago. Yeah, it was. Like Look it up right now. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Seven videos ago. <laughs> this video right here. Rex's hair is on it. Yesterday I ordered new long sleeve and hoodies. It looks like the original HSF, the black with the red on the front. It's hoodies and long sleeve shirts and that. And it should be here either on or before December 7th. So hopefully whenever they come in, I'll have them on the website and hopefully you guys can order them and get them before Christmas if you want one. I will see you guys on the next one and hopefully we'll have this big 450 running soon. Say peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. I love the way Hannah talks. Yeehaw.